Hey everybody, Buzzsaw Gaming here, bringing to you my top five TurboGrafx-16 games. There is Mr. Buzzsaw, my retro gaming buddy, hanging out on the Turbo Tap. Now it's a wonderful day. Anytime I get to talk about this system, TurboGrafx-16, one of my top favorite systems of all time. It's extremely nostalgic for me. I was there when it came out. And I remember, I mean, a lot of people talk about the console wars against Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo, but it really started before that. It started with uh, the original Nintendo and then Sega Genesis and Turbo Graphics and then Super Nintendo. So it was kind of like a four-way war is the way I kind of uh, envisioned it when I saw it. And at the time I had the original Nintendo and that was what I was rocking. I loved it. It's a great system, one of the best. But I really, really wanted a TurboGrafx-16. Uh, my good friend had one, so I have a lot of childhood memories with TurboGrafx-16. Had a lot of fun with it. I mean, here I have my original system right here. The TurboTap. Got the arcade stick. The manual right there. The original system. And the Turbo Pad. So just... Uh, the old original stuff it even you know smells retro <laughs> it's got that old smell to it it's uh i love that orange a burnt orange color with black if you watch my uh you know my best looking consoles of all time you know turbo graphics was uh was my favorite so yeah i had an absolutely amazing time with this system you know i ordered the vhs promotional tape for it i kept playing it over and over again so, so many fond memories, and it's got just an amazing uh, array of games that are just totally different from Nintendo and Sega. Uh, it's finally, oh, there was yawning right there. It's finally getting its uh, its due, I guess. It's finally, uh, you know, waking up. People are noticing Turbo Graphics. As far as my number five pick, it's R Type. Now, this R Type is a great port. I would say of the arcade hit, it, it runs really nice on the TurboGrafx-16. I would say it's probably the best version of the original R-Type. It, uh, it also came out all in one hue card. If you know uh, PC Engine, which is the Japanese version of TurboGrafx, uh, R-Type came out, but it came out R-Type 1, R-Type 2, where the game was split, basically half the levels on one hue card and half the levels on the other. But we got lucky, we got the whole R-Type on one disc, there it is right there. It was absolutely revolutionary with those, I mean, those gigantic bosses and just aliens. And it's just such a cool shooter. And you know, a shooter had to be on here as far as the, um, you know, top five Turbo Graphic 16 games, you know, in my opinion of all time. Again, this is my opinion. So your list might differ from mine. Another awesome game that, uh, you know, could possibly replace this, um, you know, an honorable mention would be um what's it called blazing lasers yeah blazing lasers is just i mean sublime it's so cool the lasers that go out the direction it's just something that's you know completely turbo graphics i mean look at the uh you know the case art right there it's just absolutely wonderful i had a great time with this game so much fun extremely difficult as all the games were back then but that's just the way it is so absolutely loved it the original r-type Next right here, Devil's Crush. Now, I'm not really into pinball. <laughs> Mr. Buzz saw yawning. Oh, he's not into pinball either. <laughs> so anyways, uh, you know, real pinball, I was never into. I played it before. I mean, just because it was there. It's, you know, it's kind of fun, I guess. But um, when you think about like uh, video game pinball, I mean, probably the top of the top for me would be Devil's Crush. It's just such a gruesome theme. It's a really cool game. It's, you know, basically a platformer in a pinball version. I mean, you've got these special levels where you're, you're, you're knocking down, you know, you know, these, you know, these walking monsters or whatever with your pinball, uh, the face in the middle, that, that gruesome, <laughs> gruesome face just gets worse and worse and worse. The longer the, uh, you know, the longer the game plays. So absolutely amazing. You know, another alternative of this would be, uh, uh, the other game as well, which is the, the alien game. I can't, <laughs> the name is slipping me right now, but um, it's also good as well. But for me, for, for my money, 
Uh, I'd say Devil's Crush is the uh, is the better game, but absolutely fun. I love it. You know, that's in my number four spot as far as top five for uh, Turbo Graphics. Number three. Oh, the beauty that is Ninja Spirit. I mean, this is a remarkable game. It's so beautiful. It's the graphics are amazing. I mean, even just the first boss. I mean, it's just so cool. It's um, gigantic. It's, you know, totally like 16 bit. And like, actually, when you talk about it too, about this, you know, TurboGrafx 16, some people say it's not a 16 bit console. Some people say it's a, you know, a hybrid console or something like that. I don't know. I mean, back then in the day, it, to me, it was a 16 bit console. To me, it looks 16 bit. So I, I think 100% it's a 16-bit console. And I think bits are a marketing scheme anyways. So it's definitely a 16-bit console to me. As far as Ninja Spirit, yeah, I mean, you, you eventually you get these uh, these replicants, these duplicates of yourself, and you're just like mashing away everything. So much fun. I mean, so creative. Just a beautiful game. Absolutely wonderful. Just pure TurboGrafx-16. I mean, the colors, the scheme. Just absolutely beautiful. I mean, just like in Bonk, you know, look at Bonk. I mean, look at those colors. I mean, I just remember just playing this over and over and over again. It's just so cool to have it. I liked it more than Mario. I liked it more than uh, than um, Bonk as well. I mean, not Bonk, uh, the guy for uh, Genesis. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I just dug it and I, I really liked it. Oh, nope, don't eat Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> he must be getting hungry. I'm going to feed him after this. He's doing a great job, right? And number two, my number two favorite game for TurboGrafx-16 is Bonk's Adventure. And you know Bonk had to be on here. You know, Bonk's Adventure, Bonk's Revenge are both really good. There's a third Bonk as well where he's supersized and super mini, which I don't have. It's really expensive. It came out super late in the TurboGrafx-16 life. I think that's also a great game. But I just put the original here. I mean, this is the one I played mostly. It was so much fun. I just absolutely loved it. And so creative. I mean, you know, bonking things with your head. And also there's a spinoff called Air Zonk, which is a shooter, I guess, with his, uh, his uh, futuristic relative <laughs> called Zonk. <laughs> so yeah, they had a lot of fun with this. I mean, they had a great, great time. You know, I wish TurboGrafx-16, I wish they would have, uh, you know, used Bonk as the, as the, as the pack-in, as the official mascot pack-in type game, but uh, they didn't, unfortunately. They really should have. They missed a, you know, golden opportunity when, uh, you know, Genesis was using um, Sonic, you know, Nintendo was using Mario. They should have been using Bonk. They should have pushed it. Maybe it would have favored them a little bit more. Maybe they would have uh, came out with a deeper, more, you know, enriched library. I think there's only 94 games, and in total, I think it's 120 something, when including the American CD games. Although PC Engine CD games also play on TurboGrafx CD, as long as you have the correct system card. So that you know that gives the TurboGrafx 16 another, you know, gigantic boost as far as their library. There's Mr. Buzzsaw hanging out back on the Turbo Tap. He's done trying to eat, uh, eat bonk right there. <laughs> and number one, Splatterhouse. You knew this had to be there. I mean, this is just, I mean, coming from the original Nintendo, Color Computer 2, I mean, these kind of, you know, kitty games or, you know, kind of earlier games. I mean, this was like, wow, what's going on? This is so cool. It has that, uh, you know, Friday the 13th vibe. It's got that, uh, <laughs> that kind of vibe to it. You know, Splatterhouse, absolutely awesome. It's, you know, and it's a side scroller, you know, side scroller beat em up, I guess is how you'd call it. It's, uh, and it's just gruesome. It's really cool. I like playing it actually, my, my favorite way to play it is actually with the arcade stick and just going around and just mashing buttons and stuff and just, uh, you know, picking up the two by four as a shotgun, you know, just, uh, you know, obliterating the, uh, <laughs> the zombies and the enemies. So yeah, I just totally love it. Uh, Splatterhouse, my, my number one pick for TurboGrafx-16 as far as my top five. Uh, anyways, comment below, like, what are your uh, top five TurboGrafx-16 games? Is this, uh, which ones would you add? Which ones would you take out? Uh, which games do you like? Now, I know the TurboGrafx-16 Mini also brings a whole, 
you know, cornucopia of games. So I might do some Let's Play with my TurboGrafx-16. Maybe, maybe do a Let's Play of Rondo of Blood, Castlevania Rondo of Blood. What do you guys think? And uh, yeah, so yeah. Anyways, uh, like and comment and share. Uh, I appreciate all the kind words and, uh, you know, have a wonderful day. <laughs> I was trying to eat bunk again. Oh boy, I got to get him some food. So anyways, that's uh, Mr. Buzzsaw right there signing out. Uh, have a uh, wonderful rest of the day. I was so happy to bring out my TurboGrafx-16 stuff and share with you a little bit about uh, TurboGrafx-16. Thank you so much.